Political Matters. Yes, sir. The J.W. Williams Funeral Directors have been proudly serving the people of this community since 1918. Service is our motto. The poor, the rich, the middle class, and all are given the best of care and attention at all times. You have the privilege to select what you want. In your time of need, contact the capable, the competent, and the dependable staff of the J.W. Williams Funeral Home who is genuinely concerned with your care. At J.W. Williams Funeral Home, you are aptly served by the proprietor president, Deacon Arthur L. Parker, who continues the traditions and values set forth by the past president, Dr. Napoleon Williams. Your announcements for the J.W. Williams Funeral Home Sunday morning program are Deacon Arthur L. Parker, Reverend Isaac H. Owens, Mrs. Calandra Wilkerson Parker, Minister Frankie Harmon, Ms. Sandra Johnson, and Deacon Earl Clark, Jr. Thank you and good morning friends. We come to you this morning to bring announcements, dedications, and songs. We certainly hope that your day may be brighter after listening to our program. The family of Mr. Xavier Bartron Johnson of Cordell, Georgia. The family of Mr. Columbus Rush of Albany, Georgia and Dooley County, Georgia. The family of Mr. Alton Leonardo Harvey of Albany, Georgia and Cordell, Georgia would like to thank their many friends for the food, the flowers, the condolences, and all other expressions of sympathy and kindness shown to them during their hours of sorrow and bereavement during the past week. Mr. Xavier Bartron Johnson, age 50, of 711 Barclay Way, Columbus, Georgia, died Friday, June 25th, 2021, at the Phoebe Putney Memorial Hospital in Albany, Georgia. The funeral service for Mr. Xavier Bartron Johnson, age 50, was held Thursday, July 1st, graveside at the Sunnyside Cemetery in Cordial, Georgia. His pastor, the Reverend Sadie Jackson, pastor of the Shady Grove CME Church, Drayton Community, Vianna, Georgia, officiated. Survivors include his loving and devoted wife, Mrs. Diana Bart Johnson of Columbus, Georgia, his loving and caring children, Mr. Xavier Johnson of Ellenwood, Georgia, Ms. Amara Laney Jones of Buford, Georgia, Mr. Edward Johnson of Columbus, Georgia, his loving and devoted mother, Ms. Carolyn Y. Thomas of Cordell, Georgia, his beloved and devoted grandmother, Mother Annie Lou Beal of Cordell, Georgia, his beloved sisters, Mrs. Benita Johnson of Perry, Georgia, and Miss Tracy Johnson of Marietta, Georgia. A beloved brother, Sergeant Hamilton Thomas of El Paso, Texas. His sisters-in-law, Mrs. Barbara Dixon, Miss Anita McNeil, and Miss Kenya Boyd, all of Greensboro, South North Carolina, and Miss Sharita Ingram, of McVille's, North Carolina. His brother-in-law, Mr. Bernard Boyd of Cambridge, Maryland. A host of cousins, other relatives, and many, many sorrowing friends survived. Mr. Xavier 
Bartron Johnson, age 50, of 711 Barclay Way, Columbus, Georgia. Mr. Columbus Rush of 1904 Palmyra Road, Albany, Georgia, formerly of Dooley County, Georgia, died Monday, June 28th at the Pruitt Health Nursing Home in Albany, Georgia. The funeral service for Mr. Columbus Rush was held Saturday, July 3rd, graveside at the Vienna City Cemetery in Vienna, Georgia. The Reverend Isaac H. Owens, pastor of the Mount Calvary Baptist Church, officiated. Survivors include his loving and devoted sisters, Mrs. Pearlie May Lucas of Pinehurst, Georgia, and Mrs. Mary Jane Lucas of Cornelia, Georgia. Her be his beloved nieces and nephews, a host of cousins to include a special cousin, Mr. Sammy Lee McKenzie and his wife, Mrs. Martha McKenzie of Cordell, Georgia, and a host of other relatives and many, many sorrowing friends survived. Mr. Columbus Rush, a of 1907 Palmyra Road, Albany, Georgia. Mr. Alton Leonardo Harvey, age 39, of 2509 Sly Avenue, Albany, Georgia, died Friday, June 25th, at the home of his beloved sister in Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Mr. Alton Leonardo Harvey, age 39, was held Saturday, July 3rd, graveside at the Bethel Cemetery in Cordell, Georgia. The Reverend Isaac H. Owens, pastor of the Mount Calvary Baptist Church, officiated. Survivors include his loving and devoted mother, Miss Cynthia Hartage of Albany, Georgia, his beloved father, Mr. Alton Harvey, and his wife, Mrs. Gloria Harvey of Macon, Georgia, his beloved children, Miss Allison Harvey and Miss Elise Harvey, both of Cordial, Georgia, and Mr. Ivan Mason of Macon, Georgia, his beloved and caring sister, Miss Tara Taylor of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Miss Latoria Hartage of Cordial, Georgia, Miss Kissy Sharp and Miss Kizzy Gibson, Miss Bridget Harvey and Miss Brittany Harvey, all of Macon, Georgia. His beloved brothers, Mr. Justin Hartage of Albany, Georgia, Mr. Willie Myrick, Mr. Jimmy Nancy, Mr. Carlos Myrick, Mr. Dalton Buck, and Mr. Trin Fazen, all of Macon, Georgia. His beloved and devoted grandmother, Mrs. Josephine Tyson of Jacksonville, Florida. His beloved aunts and uncles, Mr. Frederick Hartage and his wife, Mrs. Charlotta Hartage of Jacksonville, Florida. Mr. Richie Hartage of Cordell, Georgia. Mrs. Ella Davis and her husband, Mr. Larry Davis of Perry, Georgia. Mrs. Mary Hooks and Mr. Zachary Hooks, both of Vienna, Georgia. Mrs. Geraldine Johnson, Mr. Alton Hartage Sr., Ms. Bobby Faye McCray, Mrs. Ann Whitehead, and her husband, Mr. George Whitehead, all of Cordell, Georgia, Mr. Timothy Ford of Macon, Georgia, and Ms. Renee Hooks of Cocoa Beach, Florida, a host of nieces and nephews to include his special nephews, Mr. Jamari Taylor, and Mr. Paris Taylor, his cousins and friends to include Mr. Cedric Hook, Mr. Marcus Hook, Mr. Eric Allman, Mr. Eddie Allman Jr., all of Vienna, Georgia, 
Mr. Aubrey Putman, Mr. Carlos Irvin, Mr. Jalen Johnson, Mr. Raylan Johnson, and Mr. Damon Johnson, all of Cordial, Georgia. Mr. Frederick Hartridge, Jr. of Atlanta, Georgia. Mr. Courtney Hartridge of New Orleans, Louisiana. And Mr. Tony Smith of Ashburn, Georgia, all survived. Mr. Alton Leonardo Harvey, age 39, of 2509 Sly Avenue, Albany, Georgia. Again, the family of Mr. Xavier Bartron Johnson of Cordial, Georgia. The family of Mr. Columbus Rush of Albany, Georgia, in Dooley County, Georgia. The family of Mr. Alton Leonardo Harvey of Albany, Georgia, in Cordial, Georgia. Would like to thank their many friends for all of the many kindnesses shown to them during the hours of sorrow and bereavement during the past week. May God bless each of you is that prayer. The J.W. Williams Funeral Directors serving Cordio and Vianna were in charge of each of these arrangements during the past week. certainly with the deepest regret that we make the following announcements. Deacon S. Gladys Brown Williams, age 87, of 1811 Doris Street, Cordell, Georgia, died Wednesday, June 30th at her residence in Cordell, Georgia. Survivors include 11 and devoted children, Ms. Gail Jackson of Snellville, Georgia, Mrs. Joyce Crawford and her husband, Mr. Robert Crawford of Savannah, Georgia, Mrs. Linda Wright of Albany, Georgia, Mrs. Cheryl Nixon and her husband, Mr. Freddie Nixon, Mr. Scotty Williams and his wife, Mrs. Jahan Williams, and Mrs. Teresa Jackson and her husband, and her husband Mr. Corey Jackson of Jacksonville, Florida. Eleven beloved grandchildren, nine great-grandchildren, two loving sisters, Mrs. Dorothy Brown Hubbard and her husband, Mr. Robert Hubbard of Albany, Georgia, and Mrs. Annie Marie Brown Washington of Euclid, Ohio. Two devoted brothers, Mr. Alex Brown of America's Georgia, and Mr. Ernest Brown and his wife, Mrs. Vita Brown of Atlanta, Georgia. A host of nieces, nephews, cousins, her devoted caregivers, Mrs. Janet Dawson, Mrs. Claudia Waters, and the hospice staff of Chris Regional Hospital. Other relatives and many, many sorrowing friends survived. Deacon S. Gladys, Brown Williams, age 87, of 1811 Doris Street, Cordial, Georgia. The funeral service for Deacon S. Gladys Brown Williams, age 87, will be held Monday, Monday, July 5th, at 12 noon at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home Porticor in Cordial, Georgia. Her pastor, Dr. Dwayne Daniels, pastor of the Beulah Land Baptist Church will officiate. The eulogy will be delivered by the Reverend Chester L. Askin. The burial will follow at the Bethel Cemetery in Cordial, Georgia. The, pub the public walk-up visitation will be today 
from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home. Mrs. Marie Lee Thornton Dean, age 87, of 2930 Martin Street, Orlando, Florida, died Monday, June 28, at the Event Health Inpatient Hospice in Altamo Springs, Florida. Survivors include a beloved son-in-law, Pastor Willie Daniels of Albany, New York, five loving grandchildren, Miss Irving Daniels, Mr. Stephanie Dean, Mrs. Tamir Dean, Mr. DeLone Dean, and Mr. Stephanie Dean Jr., all of Albany, Georgia, Albany, New York. A beloved sister, Mother Mamie R. Mapp of Cordial, Georgia. A beloved sister-in-law, Mrs. Clara Thornton of Brooklyn, New York. A host of nieces and nephews, many cousins, other relatives, and many, many sorrowing friends survived. Mrs. Millie L. Thornton Dean, age 87, of Altamo Spring, Florida. The funeral service for Mrs. Meline Lee Thornton Dean, age 87, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. And her sister, Mother Mamie Ruth Mapp, age 73, of 826 Paintville Heights Circle, Cordell, Georgia, died Friday, July 2nd at her residence in Cordell, Georgia. Survivors include her loving and devoted children, Mr. Dwayne Mapp, Deacon Derek Mapp, and his wife, Mrs. Sharon Mapp, Ms. Shaquita Mapp, all of Cordell, Georgia. Mr. Willard B. Huffin, Jr., and his wife, Mrs. Brandy Huffin of Atlanta, Georgia, and Miss Latasha N. Map Cato, and her spouse, Mrs. Lapresa Cato of Albany, Georgia. Fifteen beloved grandchildren, eight great grandchildren, one sister in law, two brothers in law, a host of nieces and nephews, many cousins, other relatives, and many, many sorrowing friends of I, Mother Mamie Ruth Mapp, age 73, of 826 Paintville Heights Circle, Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Mother Mamie Ruth Mapp, age 73, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. Mr. Dontravis Montreal Yao, age 35, of 821 Paintville Heights Court, Cordell, Georgia, died Friday, July 2nd, at the heart of Georgia Hospice in Perry, Georgia. Survivors include his loving and devoted mother, Miss Pamela Yao, and her companion, Mr. Jermaine Tri Trice of Cordell, Georgia. His beloved and caring father, Mr. Craig Jackson of Cordell, Georgia. His beloved brothers, Mr. Craig Jackson, Jr., Mr. DeQuay Jackson, both of Cordell, Georgia. His beloved aunts and uncle, Mrs. Stephanie Yai, Mr. Isaac Yai, and Mr. Kelvin Solomon. Several great aunts, great uncles, his nieces, nephews, many cousins, other relatives, and many, 
many sorrowing friends survived. Mr. Don Travis Montreal Yah, age 35, of 821 Paytonville Heights Court, Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Mr. Don Travis Montreal Yah, age 35, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. Mrs. Elois Tinsley Byram, age 71, of 1502 Pecan Street, Cordell, Georgia, died late Saturday night, July 3rd, at the Chris Regional Hospital in Cordell, Georgia. Survivors include her loving and devoted children, Mrs. Yvette Coleman of Cordell, Georgia, Mrs. Yolanda McKenzie of Titusville, Florida, and Mr. Jeremiah Byram of Cordell, Georgia. Eight beloved grandchildren, 22 great-grandchildren, a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, other relatives, and many, many sorrowing friends, to include a special friend, Mr. Raphael Baldwin, of Cordell, Georgia, survived. Mrs. Elois Tinsley Byram, age 71, of 1502 Pecan Street, Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Miss Elois Tinsley Byram, age 71, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. The J.W. Williams Funeral Directors serving Cordial and Diana are in charge of each of these arrangements during this week. Friends, that conclude our funeral notices for this morning. And as always, we do remind you concerning our pre-funeral arrangements planning available at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home with packages available with a single pay, a three-year pay, a five-year pay, and a 10-year pay. So please stop by and talk with us concerning your pre funeral arrangements needs available at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home and also Whole Life Insurance is available at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home. And now for our announcements. You're invited to worship with the New Poplar Spray Baptist Church today. Sunday morning worship service begins at 9.45 a.m. Wednesday evening, 6.45 p.m. And you may join them via conference call by calling 253-993-3761 for worship service. Pastor Johnny Dean and the members of New Poplar Spring welcome you to come and worship with them via conference call. You're invited to worship at the Greater Mars Tabernacle Baptist Church today. Their conference call and their outdoor worship will begin this morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Tuesday, midday prayer, 12 o'clock noon. Thursday, prayer meeting and Bible study is held at 6 o'clock p.m. You may join them via conference call by calling 229-329-7611. Again, that number is 229-329-7611. Mother Lucille Shays is the church mother. Deacon Arthur L. Parker is chairman of deacons. Dr. K. M. Williams is the pastor.
everybody to worship with the Emmanuel Mishay Baptist Church today. Pull up and praise service will begin at 10 o'clock a.m. They're located at 1818 U.S. Highway 41 North, Cordill. Reverend Gregory Williams and the members extend you a cordial invitation to come pull up and praise with them. The Mount Zion First African Baptist Church extends you an invitation to worship with them. Their conference call schedule is Sunday morning, 10 o'clock a.m. Prayer, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 o'clock noon. Bible study is held each Wednesday at 5 o'clock p.m. The conference call number is 515-604-9765. The access code is 288-180. Deacon Joe Wedges is chairman of Deacons. Dr. Dan James III is the pastor. You're invited to worship at the Gethsemane Baptist Church. Their outdoor worship service on the grounds of Gethsemane which is held this morning at 10.30 a.m. Everyone is asked to please wear a mask. Also, the Gethsemane Baptist Church Family and Friends Day will be held on Sunday, July 11th at 10.30 a.m. on the grounds of the church. They're seeking, Gethsemane is seeking a minister of music. The candidate must be skilled in keyboard, capable of teaching vocals, driven to build and grow the ministry music ministry and fully committed to the mission and vision of the church. For more information, please contact Deacon Johnny Wilson at 229-417-9622 or Pastor Cecil Strawder at 229-347-2747. Deacon Johnny Wilson, Chairman of Deacons, Brother Cecil Strawder, Pastor. to worship with the Mount Calvary Baptist Church today in their outdoor worship service, Church Without Walls. Services will begin at 10.30 a.m. Everyone has a cordial invitation to come and worship with the members of the Mount Calvary Baptist Church. Mother Evelyn Lewis is the church mother. Deacon Leon Spears, chairman of deacons. Reverend Isaac Owens is the pastor. The Spring Hill Baptist Church, Tippeville, Georgia, invites everyone to drive up and worship with them each first and third Sunday. Services begin at 11 o'clock a.m. Sister Mary Ann Lewis is the secretary, Deacon Sam Anderson, chairman of deacons. Reverend Choice Cobb Sr. is the pastor. The Ebenezer Baptist Church will open its doors for in-person worship service, um, and they are inviting you to come and worship with them um, at 11 o'clock a.m. Christ Chapel Unadilla Weekly Food Pantry is open every Wednesday from 3 until 6 o'clock p.m. You're invited to worship with the St. King Baptist Church today. Service begins at 8 o'clock a.m. for an hour of power. The worship service begins at 9 o'clock a.m. for Sunday school. And at 10.15 a.m., um, they will have their next worship service um, on Sunday, July 11th. The St. King Baptist Church will celebrate its 18th church anniversary. Reverend Joyce A. Daniels will deliver the message. Reverend, Reverend Joyce Daniels is the co-pastor. Reverend Woody C. Burnham is the pastor. The New St. Stephen's Church, located at 616 West 11th Avenue, Fresh Fire Revival will begin on Saturday, July 17th at 7 o'clock p.m. and Sunday, July 18th at 5 o'clock p.m. Dr. Timothy C. Boone of Faith Perfecting Life Center, Warner Robbins, will be the revivalist. Everyone has a cordial invitation to attend. Dr. Frankie Harmon is the pastor. The Zion Hope Baptist Church, Winona, and will invite you to worship with them in their in-house worship service, which will begin on Sunday, July 11th at 11.30 a.m. Everyone has a cordial invitation to worship with the members of Zion Hope. Deacon Xavier Bryant Jr. is the chairman of deacons. Reverend Willie James Felton is the pastor. A community-wide back-to-school bash will be held on Saturday, July 31st at the Crisp County Recreation Center, located at 1205 North 5th Street, from 11 o'clock a.m. until 4 o'clock p.m. There will be backpack and supplies giveaway. 
bounce houses and games for fun, college and military recruiters, free haircuts, and girls' braids, and a Coco Melon Corner. Everyone has a very cordial invitation to attend a community-wide back-to-school bash on Saturday, July 31st at the Crisp County Recreation Center from 11 a.m. until 4 o'clock p.m. each of you who have not gotten vaccinated to please go out and get your vaccination. Many of our sites in our area are still open and they are still giving um, the vaccination. So we encourage you to please get out and do that. Even as we're preparing to celebrate today and the summer months are here, let us take advantage of this vaccination. It is free and we encourage each of you who have not taken it to please do so as we continue to move about in our families and our fellowship with our friends and many of us anticipating the want to go back into in the building worship service. Let us take advantage of the vaccination for those of us who are following and keeping up with the numbers in our community and in our area. Um, while, while we are thankful that the numbers have decreased, we have to be careful and know that the virus is still out there. It is still able to be spread. So let us take advantage of that. Let us continue to wash our hands. Let us continue to wear our masks because we do want to be safe and each of us knows what it felt like to be closed in last year and we want to do everything we can. So please put your sleeves up, take the vaccination and help to uh, stop the spread of the coronavirus. This concludes our announcements for today. And now for dedications. Our first selection this morning is dedicated to the following, in loving memory of Mr. Johnny McGill, who departed his life June 24, 2015. Dedication requested by the McGill family, gone but not forgotten. In loving memory of Mrs. Gertrude Bryant, who departed his life July 4, 2012, and would have celebrated a birthday July 29th. Dedication requested by the Mays and Lofton family. Precious memory lingers still. In loving memory, Mr. Barney Jackson, who departed his life July 1st, 2015. Dedication requested by the entire Jackson family. Gone but not forgotten. In loving memory of our beloved mother, Fanny. May James, church mother of the New Oak Grove Baptist Church, who would have celebrated her birthday July 2nd. Dedication requested by the James and Jones family. Gone, but not forgotten. In loving memory, Mr. Frederick Yao, who would have celebrated his birthday July 2nd. Dedication requested by the Yao family. Precious memory lingers still. In loving memory of Mrs. Eva Pearl Gaston, who departed this life July 5th, 2001. Dedication requested by the family. Gone but not forgotten. Our first selection this morning is dedicated to the following. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary 33rd anniversary to Mr. Frederick and Mrs. Charletta Hartridge, who celebrated their anniversary July 1st. Dedication requested by their beloved family. God bless your union and keep it strong. Our first selection this morning is dedicated to the following. Happy birthday to Mr. Johnny Dennis, who celebrated his birthday Friday, July 2nd. Dedication requested by his beloved wife, Mrs. Barbara Dennis, his daughters, his grandchildren, and the entire Dennis and McGill family. Happy birthday, Mr. Johnny Dennis, and many, many more. Special birthday wishes goes out to Mrs. Valerie Levant, uh, who celebrated her birthday Friday, July 2nd. Dedication requested by her husband, Mr. A.B. Levant, the entire Levant family, and her beloved mother, Mrs. Dorothy Rose Jones, and the staff of the J.W. Williams Funeral Home. Happy birthday to Mrs. Valerie 
Look, Van, Miss Val, happy birthday and many, many more. Happy birthday to Mrs. Gwen Westbrook, who celebrate, celebrated her birthday Saturday, July 3rd. Dedication requested by her beloved children, grandchildren, her beloved mother, and the entire McGill family. Happy birthday to uh, Tristan Jones, who will celebrate her birthday Monday, July 5th. Dedication comes from her beloved family. Our first selection this morning is dedicated to the following. Mr. Ricky Hardiman and family, Mr. Philip Stimbridge, Stimbridge and family, Mrs. Ola Lofton and family, the Reverend and Mrs. Douglas Parham and family, Mr. and Mrs. A.B. Levant and family, Deacon and Mrs. Norman Fields and family, Mr. and Mrs. Danny Jackson and family, Ms. Rita Cross and family, Mrs. Donna Cobb and family, Mother Minnie Fletcher and family, Mother Ida Bell, uh, Patrick and family, Mrs. Geraldine Pickens and family, Mother Grace Patrick and family, Mrs. Jackie Lattimore and family, Ms. Vivian Daniels and family, Mrs. Willie Mae Leary and family, and the entire Leary and Carter family of Hatley, Georgia, Mrs. Lucille. Hillman and family of Ashburn, Georgia, Mrs. Lottie Tarbert and family, Mr. Don and Miss Cynthia White and family, uh, Mr. William and Miss Brenda Jones and family, Mr. Keith and Miss Carrie Dexter and family, uh, Mr. Charlie and Mrs. Wileen Jackson and family, Mr. Ernie and Miss Lisa Bryant and family, Miss Lavinia James and family, Deacon and Mrs. Vet T. Crane and family, Pinehurst, Georgia, Miss Lily Crane and family, the Reverend Jesse and Mrs. Louise Watts and family, Mrs. Shanta K. Bowens and family, Mrs. Patsy Carter and family, Miss Mary Taylor and family, Miss Deacon James Smith and family, Chairman Tommy and Mrs. Gradine Ford and family, Mrs. Lucia Harris and family, Mrs. Mary Frances Davis and family, Mr. Joseph Glenn and family, and the entire Glenn family, Ms. Mary Taylor and family, Mrs. Willie McGill and family, Mr. and Mrs. Judge Glenn and family, Ms. Nettie Whitis and family, Ms. Burrow Patrick and family, Ms. Corrine Passmore and family, Ms. Gail Chanel Williams and family, Mrs. Dorothy Rose Jones and family, Mr. Frederick Hardiman and family, Mr. Lottie Walker and family, Ms. Annette Stembridge and family, Mrs. Eddie Mae Cooks and family, Mother Jessica Harmon and family, Mr. Donald and Ms. Ruby Daniels and family, Minister Gardner and Mrs. Brula Morgan and family, Mrs. Maggie Harmon and family, Ms. Pearl Reed and family, Mrs. Fanny Bivens and family, Poulin, Georgia, Mrs. Connie Gaines, James and family, Ms. Mary Applin and family, Ms. Geraldine Ford and family, Mrs. Geraldine Harvey and family, Deacon Earl Leary and family, Mrs. Patricia Leary and family, Mr. Eddie Leary and family, Mrs. Mitt Redding and family, Mr. William Carter and the entire Carter family of Hatley, Georgia. Dedication requested by Mrs. Willie Mae Leary and family of Hatley, Georgia. Ms. Geneva Curry and family, Ms. Martha Westbrook and family of Ash of Araby, Georgia, Mrs. Lucia Westbrook and family, Mr. And Mrs. Lonnie Walker and family, Mrs. Carolyn Jackson Hicks and family, Mr. Alvin and Ms. Ann Ross and family, Ms. Salitha Brown and family, Ms. Burnell Webern and family, Deacon and Mrs. John Mathis and family. Our first selection this morning is dedicated uh, to my neighbor, Mrs. Theron Jones and family, the entire Jones and Tarbert family, uh, Mother Dorothy Tarbert and family, Mr. Johnny and Mrs. Juanita Tarbert, and the entire Tarbert family, our first selection for this morning.
Our next selection this morning is dedicated to the following, to Mr. Kelvin Pless and the members of the Mayor Gospel Workshop. And thanks again for providing our music this morning. Our selection goes out to Mr. E.K. Cheney and family, Dooley County, Georgia, Deacon and Mrs. Samuel Mills and family, Deacon James and Dr. Elizabeth Maddox and family, uh, Deaconess Martha A. Cross and family, the Reverend Johnny B. Dean, and the members of the New Poplar Springs Baptist Church of Byronville, Georgia. Mr. and Mrs. Freddie Pittman and family, Deacon and Mrs. Charles Outlaw and family, Mrs. Elnora Ray and family, Minister and Mrs. Robbie Williams and family, Mrs. Alma Johnson and family, Ms. William A. Cobb and family, Mrs. Ernestine Gaines and family, Deacon Major Walker and family, Stuart Lonnie Barrett and family, Mother Mary E. Jackson and the entire Jackson family, Mrs. Linda Butcher and family, Mrs. Eula Hamilton and family, Mr. Edward Butler and family, Mrs. Carolyn Bolton and family, Mrs. Anna Rawl and family, Mrs. Virginia Williams and family, Mrs. Christine Gaines and family, Mr. Wayne Faust and family, Mrs. Essie Gay and family, Mr. Nicholas Johnson and family, Mr. and Mrs. Broccoli Johnson and family, Mr. and Mrs. Dwight Johnson and family, Mr. and Mrs. Cedric Johnson and family, Ms. Marie Porter and family, um, Mr. and Mrs. Harry Fox and family, Elder J.C. and Mrs. Annette Clark and family, Mr. Robert and Mrs. Fannie Mae Polk and family, uh, Minister Robbie and Mrs. Joanne Williams and family, Mr. James Reedy and family, Mr. Norris and Mrs. Gail Bimber and family, Mrs. Dolores Lane and family, Mrs. Nancy Bryan and family, Mr. Joseph Bryant III, the Reverend Jolie Butts and family, Mother Lucinda Ray and family, Mrs. Rosa Colbert and family, Mrs. Jada Mae Miller and family, Mrs. Alice Mae McKenzie and family, Mr. Frank Lee Robinson and family, Mr. Lindbergh Smith and, Smith and family, Mrs. Dalquita Hunt and family, Mr. Artis Dawson and family, Mr. John Reese and family, Mrs. Barbara Adams and family, Mrs. Virginia Everett and family, Mrs. Maddie Pope and family, uh, Mr. Vaughn, uh, Mrs. Jermaine Harvey and family. Uh, Mrs. Mr. And Mrs. Lynn Thomas and family, Mrs. Carol Smith and family, uh, Miss Leslie Williams and family, Mr. And Mrs. Lonnie Anderson and family, Miss Corrine West and family, Mr. And Mrs. Sammy Lewis and family, Mrs. Margaret Whitehead and family, Mr. And Mrs. Ernie Cheney and family, uh, Mrs. Leela Lewis and family, Mr. Homer Swain and family, Mr. Kenny Lester and family. And the selection goes out to Stuart Charlie uh, Byron, Byronville, Georgia, and family. Our next selection for this morning. It is certainly with the deepest regret that we make the following announcement. Mrs. Gladys Brown Williams 
age 87 of 11 of 1811 Doris Street, Cordell, Georgia, died Wednesday, June 30th at a residence in Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Deacon S. Gladys Brown Williams, age 87, will be held Monday, Monday, July 5th at 12 noon at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home Port Accord in Cordell, Georgia. Her pastor, Dr. Dwayne Daniel, pastor of her beloved Beulah Land Baptist Church, will officiate. The eulogy will be delivered by the Reverend Chester L. Askins. The burial will follow at the Bethel Cemetery in Cordell, Georgia. The public walk of visitation will be today from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home. Mrs. Millie Lee Thornton Dean, age 87, of 2930 Martin Street, Orlando, Florida, died Monday, June 28, at the Event Health Inpatient Hospice in Altamo Spring, Florida. The funeral service uh, for Mrs. Millie Lee Thornton Dean, age 87, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. And her sister, Mother Mamie Ruth Mapp, age 73, of 826 Paintville Heights Court, Cordell, Georgia, died Friday, July 2nd, at her residence in Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Mother Mamie Ruth Mapp, age 73, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. Mr. Dontravius Montreal Yow, age 35, of 821 Paintville Heights Circle, Cordell, Georgia, died Friday, July 2nd, at the Heart of Georgia Hospice in Perry, Georgia. The funeral service for Mr. Dontravius Montreal Yow, age 35, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. Mrs. Elois Tinsley Byram, age 71, 1502 Pecan Street, Cordell, Georgia, died late Saturday night, July 3rd, at the Chris Regional Hospital in Cordell, Georgia. The funeral service for Mrs. Elois Tinsley Byram, age 71, will be announced at a later date pending the completion of the arrangements. The J.W. Williams Funeral Directors serving Cordell and Vianna are in charge of each of these arrangements during this week. Our next and final selection for this morning is dedicated to the bereaved families who loved one were laid to rest during the past week. The family of Mr. Xavier Bartron Johnson of Cordell, Georgia. The family of Mr. Columbus Rush of Albany, Georgia and Dooley County, Georgia. The family of Mr. Alton Leonardo Harvey of Albany, Georgia and Cordell, Georgia. This election is dedicated to the bereaved families whose loved ones will be laid to rest during this week. The family of Deacon S. Gladys Brown Williams of Cordell, Georgia. The family of Mrs. Millie Lee Thornton Dean of Orlando, Florida. And her sister, Mother Mamie. Ruth Mapp of Cordell, Georgia. The family of Mr. Dontravis Montreal Yao of Cordell, Georgia. The family of Mrs. Elois Tinsley Byram of Cordell, Georgia. This selection is dedicated to all of the sick and shut in, to all patients in the local and surrounding hospitals, nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, to our beloved ministers and their devoted family members, to all retired 
educators, to the men and women serving in armed forces, both stateside and abroad, to all veterans, and to everyone who listens to our program on each Sunday morning. It's a pleasure for us to bring it to you. Our program goes out in memory of our past president, Dr. Napoleon Williams, to my wife, Mrs. Calandra Wilkerson Parker, to my son, Jai Wilkerson Parker, to my mother-in-law, Mrs. Billy Ann Hall and family, to my brother, retired Chief Master Sergeant. Sergeant Norman F. Dexter and to his wife, Dr. Gwendolyn Mike Sing Dexter, again, who celebrated their anniversary during this past week, 47 years, I believe it is. Uh, happy anniversary again to retired Chief Master Sergeant Norman F. Dexter and Dr. Gwendolyn Mike Sing Dexter. To my sister, Ms. Maddie Mae Johnson, better known as Sister Girl, and Mrs. Patsy Jackson, her husband, Mr. Jim Jackson of Cordell, Georgia. This selection goes out to my nephew, uh, Deacon Kenneth Smith, program chairman of the Great Amaris Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, our pastor, Dr. Tim Williams, and his wife, Sister Kathy Williams, uh, and to the entire membership. Again, invite you to worship this morning uh, on the grounds of the Great Amaris Tabernacle Baptist Church at 9 a.m. as we observe Holy Communion as well. And you may visit Facebook Live or the conference call as well. Our program this morning goes out to um, Mr. Johnny Dennis celebrating his birthday again on July 2nd. Um, Mrs. Annette Clark celebrate her birthday on July the 6th. Mrs. Martha Fox Hamilton on July 10th. Um, and in memory of the late Mr. Jesse Folks, uh, who would have celebrated his birthday July the 11th, goes out to Miss Jan Peacock on July the 11th, Miss Fanny Pope on July the 13th, Mrs. Brianna Felton on July the 17th, and Mrs. Carolyn Smith Odin on July the 20th, and Mr. Arthur Joe Simmons Jr., July the 22nd, Mr. Tony Daniels on July the 26th there. These dedication requested by Minister Annette Clark and the entire Clark family. And so our program goes out again to Mr. Cleveland R. Lemon, oldest staff member of the J.W. Williams Funeral Home. Let's say good morning to Mr. Cleveland R. Lemon, steward of the Bethel CME Church here in Cordell, Georgia. Our final selection for this morning. Capable and dependable staff at the J.W. Williams Funeral Home.